Lee Friedlander is an American street photographer from Aberdeen, Washington. Much of his early work consisted of capturing photos of the American urban social landscape. Part documentary, part interpretive, Friedlander's urban photos revolutionized street photography in the 60s and 70s. With dense compositions containing fragments of storefront reflections, pedestrians, and even his own shadow, Friedlander's photos leave the viewer to come to their own conclusions. A great example of this can be seen in his 1968 self-portrait taken in New Orleans, Louisiana. The main point of focus in this interpretive photo is Freelander's silhouette captured in the reflection of a storefront window. His figure is backlit, making him appear featureless and mysterious. The background captures the urban landscape of New Orleans, with the passerby looking curiously as to what Freelander is photographing. Finally, over Friedlander's heart, is an additional reflection of himself coming from a mirror within the store. By inserting his portrait and the multiple reflections in this photo, I feel as though I'm looking through Freelander's own eyes when viewing it. Having a body of work stretching six decades, Lee Freelander's photos chart his evolution as a photographer capturing the American landscape. In a more recent series titled America by Car, Freelander shoots the American landscape inside a rental car. In his 2008 photo titled Montana from America by Car, Freelander creates an aesthetically evaluative photo of a suspended car shot within a car. His use of the rule of thirds draws the eye to the upper left hand corner where the car is suspended. Though black and white, the photo displays a pleasing contrast of the dark car interior against the light sky and dirt. In addition, the side mirror acts as an extra frame that captures an entirely different perspective of the landscape. I feel a personal connection to this photo as I have experienced much of the American landscape inside of a vehicle. Friedlander's brilliant use of the car's interior as a framing device shows all of his unique style is a great example of why he's so highly revered in the photography world. After reviewing Freelander's work, I have learned that there are photographic opportunities at every corner. One can look out a car window and find an interesting scene waiting to be captured. In addition, Freelander showed me that inserting myself into my photos can lead to some very interesting results.